Hello guys, how are you doing? Hope everyone is doing good. Approximately one and a half month back, I made a video explaining about the travel ban issued by US uh, immigration government on different non-immigrant visa categories such as H1B, L1A, L2, L1B, etc. etc. So after I made that video, there were a lot of questions uh, uh, I was getting actually. Uh, people were asking, hey, do I qualify for an exemption from this travel ban? Uh, are the concerts open yet? Even though the concerts are not open, can I apply for an appointment and get my visa stamp? So in this video, I'm going to answer you all those questions. So do watch until the end. And if you have not watched my initial video, I'll be providing the link in the description as well as in the above card. Please do watch that video before you watch this one so that we are all on the same page. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to Katana Kimi channel and do not forget to turn on the notification bell. Let's discuss the first one. So if you are working for the same employer in the same position, you will be excluded from this travel ban. So uh, just to make sure, check out your I-129 extension that you might have filed. In the part two section, there is a uh, B, there is a row B, which would clearly say that you are working for the same employer in the same position. So if that's the case, you would be called, you'd be excluded from this travel ban. If you are a public health or a healthcare professional or a researcher who is working to reduce the effects of Corona, you are excluded from this travel ban. Third one is, let's say if your travel is supported by a US government agency such as Department of Defense or any other uh, government agency, if you are working, if you are providing IT services or if you are uh, doing some research, uh, you can get a letter or you can get a justification from that US government agency justifying about your travel. So that way you are exempted from this travel ban too. In addition, there are five criteria that is set up by US immigration. H-1B applicants need to meet at least two of those five criteria in order to be get in order to get excluded from this travel ban. So the first one is let's say if your LCA is approved during or after July 2020, that is a clear indication that your company requires you in order to continue their uh, uh, appropriate work. So if your LCA has if your LCA is approved before July 2020 then the consular officer needs to make a determination from the visa application that your company requires you right now immediately so irrespective of the lca uh, irrespective of the lca approvals that i discussed now if if the consular officer thinks that you are able to successfully perform all the job duties remotely out of the united states this criteria cannot be met second one is if your company is facing severe financial hardships because of uh, uh, you are not available, that can be shown as an another criteria that can be shown as an other indicator so that you'd be eligible for exclusion from this travel ban. Criteria is check out your salary. If your salary is greater than by at least 15% of the prevailing wage mentioned in the LCA, then this criteria can be met too. Fourth criteria is your education, training or the number of years of experience should demonstrate that you are really working, you are really performing a critical work for your employer and it is uh, it is something, un it is not something everyone is doing, it is something like you are specially performing, You are if you are not there, your company cannot survive that. So if that can be demonstrated, you will be also meeting the fourth criteria. The fifth criteria, if your employer is working to meet the needs of critical infrastructure sectors such as uh, agriculture, nuclear reactors, food, food, transportation so all such things come under critical infrastructure sector so if your employer is working to meet the needs of such critical infrastructure uh, sectors and if you if you are working for such company and if you are like a senior level uh, senior level placement within that company or you are really you are really contributing to that company in a significant manner that can be justified uh, and you'll be eligible to meet this criteria so out of all the five criteria that I explained, you should be you should meet at least two of them in order to get excluded from this travel ban. Let's discuss about the consulate openings actually. So right now, uh, in most of the countries, the consulates are not open yet and they are slowly reopening actually. But uh, go to the, your respective consulate or embassy website. There is a section for emergency appointment and there are a few criteria that you might be eligible. So send out an email if you think you are eligible for any of those criteria and you be able to get an appointment you'll be able to get an emergency appointment and i hope luck favors you guys um, i hope this video helps you guys and also 
there are a lot of uh, all the criteria that i discussed in this video are only for h1b people h1b category people so there are a lot of other criteria that are set forth for l1a visas l2 etc uh, etc et so if you belong to such category and if you want me to make the video please put them in the comments and i'll be more than happy to make that video for you guys i hope this video helped you if you have any questions feedback please put them in the comments uh, i'll take a look and uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and do not forget to turn on the notification bell stay, stay home stay safe bye